channel everybody in this video i'm going to show you how to fix lag and stuttering for this game on steam or gog let's get into it start the game and we'll adjust a couple of settings within the game once you're in this menu click on the options button from here click on the little monitor here and from here there's a couple of options that you want to uh, click on for quality considering uh, consider switching this to high instead of ultra or if uh, you're on high switch this to medium and there's a couple of settings that are very important. For one thing, uh, you want to uh, switch screen space reflections. You want this to be off. Uh, for Lumen hardware uh, ray tracing, you want this to be off, um, even if your hardware can support it. For DLSS, you want the mode to be uh, probably performance, even if you're on a high, uh, good computer, or this to be off. Alternatively, uh, if your uh, NVIDIA card can support it, I would suggest switching DLSS to quality or balanced and turning NVIDIA Reflex to enabled and boost. Um, this does seem to help for a lot of people, so I would recommend it. Okay, there's a couple of things we want to do outside of the game to improve our FPS. Let's do that now. Okay, in the video description or a pinned comment, I'm going to leave this file. Uh, you have, you can download the file. It's going to be a zip file. You right click on go extract all. You extract it and then you'll have something that looks like this at engine.ini. And we're going to put that into the game file. So go uh, to C, go to users, go to whatever user you're currently logged in as. From here, go to documents. From here, go to my games. From here, go to Oblivion Remastered, saved. Uh, config and win GDK if you're on the Xbox Game Pass. This will be uh, something like GOG or Steam uh, if you're on GOG or Steam. Either way, it's the same thing. Click on it and you're gonna see a bunch of INI files. By the way, you might not see the uh, file extensions if you don't have that enabled. You might just see the file names, that's fine. Uh, take the engine.ini file, copy it over say replace the file in the destination, it will copy over and that will automatically uh, start when you start the game. What does this do? Um, this basically optimizes the game for uh, Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine 5 is very poorly optimized currently, but this, uh, this really, really helps. It'll give you a lot of FPS. So just give it a try. If you're uh, consci conscious about it, cautious about it, uh, copy the engine AI before uh, copying over the file, but like don't worry about it. Um, it will be fine. Okay, there's one thing that you want to do. Uh, find the game in your Steam library or your GOG library, whatever that might be. And what you want to do for Steam, just right click on it, go to properties, installed files, browse, and you'll uh, bring you to the installation directory of the game. Um, it's very similar for Xbox or GOG, so that is fine. Um, go to browse here. What you want to do when you're in here, click on this, click on content, click on Oblivion Remastered, click on content, click on, I'm sorry, click on binaries, WinGDK, or again, this might be, uh, this will probably be Steam or GOG depending on your installation. And you're going to see the executable here. You want to right click on this, go to properties. Um, and click on compatibility tab and you want to click on two different things uh, disable full screen optimizations this really helps with ping for lots of people and while you're here run this program as administrator why not this solves a lot of problems that you'd be surprised that they solve hit apply and hit okay by the way if you're getting audio related stuttering i would suggest switching the audio output this seems to be a very common problem for this game how do you do that? Uh, go to sound, right click on this, go to sound settings and just switch to a different output that isn't lagging. And last but not least, I would disable uh, all full, all, I'm sorry, overlays. Um, just right click on the game, go to properties, go to enable the Steam overlay, turn this off, turn off the uh, Nvidia overlay and turn off the Discord overlay. These seem to lag the game quite a bit as well. And that is it. If this video helped you, leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice night.